the events of Karbala and the movement of what we say, Imam al Hussein, is such a movement that to understand it, we have to look at the background regarding Karbala. And this is something which unfortunately is a dis I call it a intellectual dishonesty amongst certain groups or sections of Ahl Sunnah wal Jama'ah. It's an intellectual dishonesty that when we talk about Hussein, we say, what, we, what do we say? We say we speak about Imam Hassan al-Mujtaba alayhi salam, but Hussein, because of the fitna that occurred within the Muslims, we will not speak about him. We won't speak about his virtues. We will not speak about his differences with Yazid. In fact, some people, a'udhu billah, may Allah, for, may Allah forbid, went to such an extent of defending the actions of Yazid in regards to trying to give some type of logic, leave Islam to a side, logical explain, logical understanding or logical, uh, 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 I don't know, understanding of whether what Yazid did was correct. That's how far some people went. In fact, we saw recently in Pakistan, sectarian riots that took place. Alhamdulillah, we were at the forefront of trying to stop that. But what did we see? This aggravation of people shouting the nida of saying Yazid, Rahmatullah, alayhi a'udhu billah, and using the words of shimmer and those cursed individuals, them, those mal'oon people who stood at the plains of Karbala and massacred the son of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. 